चैप्टर फोर्टी सेवन रवि वट काइंड ऑफ फूल पुट्स लीच इज इन हिज पैंट्स लूसनिंग द लिड हैड बिन अ कैपिटल आइडिया नथिंग लेस देन प्योर जीनियस दिलन इज रनिंग अराउंड लाइक अ हेडलेस चिकन Then the bully of Albert Einstein Elementary School drops his pants and runs screaming down the hall in his starry underwear. Brilliant! I say a secret prayer of thanks to my grandfather and to the poor innocent leeches who sacrificed their lives for this important occasion. Later, after Dylan Samreen has called his mother to come pick him up and the cleaner has finished wiping up Emily Mooney's vomit, we return to the classroom. Would you like to finish telling us your story, Ravi? Mrs. Beam asks. No, thank you, I say. I don't need to show off any more. I'm not like Dillon Samreen, and I never will be. I believe it's your turn to guess, Ravi, Mrs. Beam says, holding the basket out to me. I close my eyes. Make a wish, and pull out a card. There is more to me than meets the eye. I read. Ah, says Mrs. Beam. Now that's a tough one, especially for you, Ravi, because you're new here. Would you like to choose another card instead? Something that might be a bit easier to guess. I shake my head. This is the card I wanted to get, the one I had wished for. I carry it over and set it down beside the glass dish with the blue candy in it. It's Joe, I say. Joe nods, then lifts his head and looks up at me. I smile, and he smiles back. His eyes are brown. The color of the cinnamon sticks Amma brought with her from Bangalore. How in the world did you ever guess? Asks Mrs. Beam, impressed. It was easy, I tell her. These candies have four layers. Most people assume there are only three, but assumptions are often wrong. There is more to them than meets the eye. Did you learn that in India? asks Mrs. Beam. No, I tell her. I learned it here, from Joe.